Royal snub, why Kate Middleton could quit royal duties in future. Kate Middleton could step back from her life at the forefront of the royal family to have a fourth child, according to a royal expert. Kate and her husband Prince William have had more of the public gaze upon them than ever following Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's so-called Declaration of Independence in January. Their workload has increased so much that some claim she has been working 18-hour days in recent weeks. While Kate in particular has been commended for stepping up during a bumpy period for the royal family, reports have emerged that she would like to have another child and, if true, this means she would have to step away from the forefront of public life. Speaking to Fabulous Digital in September last year, royal commentator Phil Dampier said, It wouldn't surprise me if they have a fourth child. Not only does, Kate, love family life in Norfolk, to be honest it gives her an excuse to not be at the forefront of royal duties for a bit longer, which I don't think she enjoys. I think Kate's been interacting with the public and doing very well recently, but from what I'm told, she'd rather be at home with the children. Kate, known for her more reserved nature, pulled out of a red carpet event, the Tusk Awards, back in November due to the children according to a Kensington Palace spokesperson. After Princess Charlotte's 2015 birth, Kate revealed how she felt about motherhood. She said becoming a mother has been such a rewarding and wonderful experience but did point out it's full of complex emotions of joy, exhaustion, love and worry, all mixed together. As the future queen consort, Kate is expected to devote her life to her royal duties. Only an exceptional set of circumstances could excuse her from public life, such as maternity leave. After Charlotte's birth, it was not long until she and William were accused of being reluctant royals. The Sun revealed statistics in 2016 showing that William made 188 royal appearances, while Kate only attended 140 engagements, compared to a staggering 530 attended by Charles in the same year. A royal insider told the paper, the Cambridges are the reluctant royals. They would much rather be at home with the children but so would most British parents. Unfortunately, ordinary people don't get the choice. This is not the first time Kate had been accused of being work-shy. Back in the days before she had married William, she was heavily criticized for not taking on a full-time job. Even the Queen reportedly felt Kate should have full-time employment before embarking upon a role within the royal family. She did end up with a part-time job with design company Jigsaw, but Kate struggled to have her own career when she was already in the public eye as William's girlfriend. However, Kate appeared to fully embrace her role as a royal after the birth of Prince Louis in 2018. Vanity Fair even recognized the beginning of the golden age of Kate Middleton after her six months maternity leave, when she returned to royal duties with a flourish and newfound confidence. Royal commentator Susan E. Kelly said, It's a huge turning point. I think this is where Kate gets to make her mark. She continued, A couple of years ago, you might still have seen her being a little bit timid. Now, she seems like she's in a more take charge position. I'm beginning to see the person who's going to be the queen emerging. More recent reports reveal Kate is so happy to be playing a larger role following the Sussex's decision to leave the royal family. As a source told The Sun Online in January, Kate is extremely passionate about the work the Royal Foundation does and she has ideas and plans for how she believes it can be used to help some of the causes which she is particularly passionate about. Although admitting she feels broody in recent months, the Duchess of Cambridge has rejected questions that she may have a fourth child. Royal shock, Kate and William to carry on handshaking despite growing coronavirus panic. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William are set to continue shaking hands with the public during their visit to Ireland despite growing concerns over the coronavirus. The couple are said to be taking advice from experts but will carry on as usual as they enjoy a second day of their three day trip. They were seen shaking hands with crowds of people during the first day of the tour. It comes as more than 92,000 have contracted the deadly infections, which has so far killed more than 3,000. The startling statistics have not deterred the royal family from continuing their work. During the trip, William joked about the virus with Joe Mooney, 
an advance paramedic with the National Ambulance Service. He said, I bet everyone's like I've got coronavirus, I'm dying, and you're like no, you've just got a cough. Does it seem quite dramatic about coronavirus at the moment? Is it being a little bit hyped up do you think in the media? According to the Mail Online, a royal source confirmed that Kate and William were listening to advice from Public Health England. They said, this is a discussion we have been having and everything we are doing should continue as usual. During their visit, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge enjoy a pint of Guinness with locals at the Gravity Bar. It was hosted by the British ambassador to Ireland. At the event, William said, Catherine and I are delighted to be here tonight and are both very grateful to Robin for his generous words. Ireland is a country that we have both heard so much about, so we are really excited to be here with you to see it firsthand for ourselves. In coming to the Guinness storehouse, we are retracing the footsteps of my grandmother, who was shown how to pour the perfect pint here in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen let me tell you it is not often that I find myself following the Queen to a pub. But I am looking forward to testing for myself the theory that Guinness tastes even better in Ireland than overseas. He added, thank you for all that you do to support the very special relationship between our two countries. It has been a pleasure to meet so many of you this evening who demonstrate the breadth of our connections across the arts, sports, uniformed services, education and research, and charity sectors. We value it as we do your friendship and are committed to strengthening it further. The couple will be in Ireland until Thursday before they return home. The UK government has announced its contingency plan to control the coronavirus. Kate Middleton shows some PDA with Prince William as she dazzles in Ireland. Kate Middleton and Prince William appear to be enjoying their royal visit to Ireland. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge touched down in the city of Dublin on Tuesday, and after a day of meetings and visits, they arrived at the Guinness Storehouse's Gravity Bar to spend the evening at a reception hosted by Robin Barnett, the British ambassador to Ireland. While posing in front of the Guinness sign, Kate made a rare public display of affection when she lovingly touched her husband's arm while they shared a laugh. William, 37, looked dapper in a blue suit and tie while Kate paid homage to Ireland with another green outfit. The mother of three looked stunning in a metallic, emerald green dress by the vampire's wife that she paired with green heels, statement earrings and a clutch. While inside the event, Kate and William were spotted chatting with Game of Thrones actor Liam Cunningham. The 38-year-old Duchess was also seen enjoying a pint of beer and William made a joke about Queen Elizabeth II visiting the venue nearly ten years ago. In coming to the Guinness storehouse, we are retracing the footsteps of my grandmother, who was shown how to pour the perfect pint here in 2011, William told the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you it is not often that I find myself following the Queen to a pub. But I am looking forward to testing for myself the theory that Guinness tastes even better in Ireland than overseas. It's going to be a busy couple of weeks for the pair. After their three-day trip around Ireland, William and Kate will return to London and reunite with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for the Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey next Monday.